Join us today in making this hearty cheeseburger soup perfect for these cold winter evenings. To get us started off with, we're going to start heating a pan and I'm going to put in some butter in that one. And then this kettle, I'm going to put in some of my homemade chicken broth. And then we're going to set the extra chicken that's in the can. We're going to set that aside for later. Then I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up my vegetables. We're going to do some carrots. Um, you can do celery as well. Totally optional. I skipped on that one because I don't usually have celery on hand. So we're going to do carrots. And then we're also going to do some onions. And I'm just going to throw these a half of an onion in my little chopper and get it chopped up really quick um, before my eyes start watering. If you didn't know, we are planning on hopefully getting a short little video out to you throughout the weekdays um, in December, from December 1st until Christmas Eve. So if you haven't seen all of those and would like to catch up, I will be sure to put the playlist in the description box so you can catch up to the ones that you haven't seen or if you want to start at day one and watch them all the way through. And moving on to our chicken broth our, is getting hot now and I'm just going to stir it a little bit and then adding in our vegetables into our hot butter on the other little pan there on the side and as well as adding in our onions and then we're just going to saute these together and get them almost all the way soft. So I'm just going to keep everything kind of stirred and then I did cube up some potatoes as you see me dumping in to our chicken broth. So we're going to get the potatoes heated up and these as well you want them almost soft. And we're just going to keep an eye on our two pans here and just keep everything stirred as well as get our chicken broth to boiling. And then once your onions are sauteed and almost tender, you're going to just turn off the burner and then leave them sit until later. And here I'm just kind of checking to see if my potatoes are soft and they're right, they're almost soft. So I'm gonna add in my vegetables into our potato mixture with the chicken broth. And then you want a pound of ground beef. I already had this um, pre-fried and everything in the fridge. I wanted to use it up. So I'm gonna add that into my soup mixture here. So obviously if you don't have ground beef already fried, you'll want to do that you know, ahead of time or as you're doing your other steps. And then in the pan to the side, I'm going to again just melt some butter. And then once that is melted, I'm going to add in some of our flour. And this is just to thicken up the soup, the broth there. So we're going to get that stirred together really well. And then we're going to add it to our soup. And this will thicken it up nicely. And from here on out, you want your soup on just a low temperature um, because next we are going to go ahead and add cheese as well as milk. And you do not want milk to boil. So you just want your burner on a lower temperature um, to avoid that. So we're gonna add cheese and I usually just kind of guess, I think the recipe says a cup, but I just kind of add cheese, let it melt and then um, add a little more until I like how it looks and taste it and then you can kind of tell if it needs more cheese or not and you can totally add cheese to your own liking if you don't like as much just don't add quite as much we're going to add in our milk and then just keep stirring until the cheese is all melted and the soup has reheated 
And then we're just going to go ahead and dump in that extra chicken that was in that chicken broth can just so it doesn't go to waste. All right, and here is our soup basically done. This is how it looks. Now at this point, you can add sour cream right into the soup mixture, but we usually just add it on top of our soup as we're serving it. And that way you can add as much or as little as you want. So to fix this, I'm just going to put some in a soup bowl here, and then we're just going to add some cheese as well as some sour cream on top. Now this is by no means a healthy soup, um, but it is so good on a cold winter night. It's so soothing, and I hope you enjoy as well. I will see you soon, bye.